Anybody from the panel? Okay, so um, PSA has different fractions. So a way of looking at the PSA when it's between 4 and 10, they've done some studies when they break down these fractions, which some labs do into free and total PSA, and they've found when the free PSA or the free to total ratio is below a certain amount, the increase is more likely due to prostate cancer. So if you have a PSA between 4 and 10, and the free total ratio, so the free PSA and the total PSA, these are, the free PSA is a fraction that's measured by the lab. And when we put those two together and calculate the free total ratio, if it's less than 10%, for example, you have a more chance of the increase being due to prostate cancer. So like we said before in all the presentations, an increase in PSA could be due to an enlarged prostate, prostate cancer, an infection. So that gives us more of a hint. So we don't use one PSA alone to say, okay, you need to have a biopsy. We use uh, a trend of PSAs, or as Doc said, your PSA history. So looking at the free to total ratio, that gives us the idea if that increase may or may not be due to cancer. And then we advise the patient, okay, your PSA or your free to total ratio is less than 10. Maybe we should do a biopsy now because it's possibly due to prostate cancer. So it's just another tool, tool we use to decide, okay, do we need to do a biopsy or not? So it helps us in managing the patient. So it increases your sensitivity in this abnormal result being linked to cancer. Yes. Yeah, basically the, 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 the prostate produces PSA. Now, if you have leakage of prostate before, before it is uh, properly processed in the cells, that means you have a higher risk okay. that the, the PSA is due to uh, prostate cancer rather than normal PSA. Any more questions?